I know a lot of writers of my acquaintance who are in writing groups and they share their work in draft form and they take notes and input and I have always found that to be so uncomfortable and so unproductive. I, I work alone, I work until I'm ready to show it. Uh, my agent re will read it if I ask her to, but really my first substantive reader is my editor. Uh, now about a year ago today, I sat down in the green room here at Festival of Books with my editor, Bob Weil, from uh, Live Right, an imprint at Norton. And he and I went over my manuscript page by page and did a line edit uh, face to face here at uh, USC. And that's where I get uh, the, the guidance and the input that I, I'm willing to embrace and implement in my work. So my first reader is usually my editor. My book is called The Short, Strange Life of Herschel Grinspan, A Boy Avenger, A Nazi Diplomat, and A Murder in Paris. It's a true story, a history, a biography of a 17-year-old boy who in 1938 in Paris carried out the first act of armed Jewish resistance against Nazi Germany under remarkable circumstances that really entitle him to be regarded as a hero and yet, because this young man carried a scandalous sexual secret, he has really been written out of history, and his acts of heroism have been suppressed. Uh, it was my goal in writing this book was to restore him to the place in history that he sought consciously and that I believe he deserves. Well, there's a very uh, poignant story, at least it's poignant for me, uh, my father, Robert Kirsch, was a, an author of many books of his own, and in the 1970s, he told me about a book that he was preparing to write. It was this book, the, a, a biography of Herschel Grinspan, this young man I've just described. Uh, tragically, uh, he fell ill very shortly thereafter, did not live long enough to write this book. And I went on to write books of my own, and ma uh, many books of history and biography, uh, and when I was looking for a new project about four or five years ago, uh, the thought occurred to me to do the project that my dad had been unable to do. And this book is dedicated to my father because I really felt as I wrote it that I was carrying out uh, a project that he had intended to do himself. Uh, my book can be approached as a kind of pro police procedural, a true crime story, because after all, it begins with a murder, and the murder was investigated first by the Paris police and later by the Gestapo. And we have access to all of the police records and court records of that actual case. So I look at the evidence, the ballistics, the pathology, the uh, autopsy evidence, and uh, the background of all the key players in the case. So in a sense, it's a true crime story. And then I also try to uh, grapple with some of the larger issues the most uncomfortable and awkward of which is uh, with so much emphasis placed on finding evidence of Jewish resistance, of answering the question, why did so many Jews seem to go so passively to their deaths? Why was this young man who didn't go passively, who was willing to fight back, why was he uh, overlooked in the history of resistance to the Holocaust?